What's up, everyone? I've been seeing tons of people talking about how they created their personal readme page on GitHub. And I wanted to check out and learn how to do it too. So that's what we're gonna do in this video is learn how to create that personal readme in GitHub. All right, so I found this post on dev.2 uh, that I'm gonna follow. This is from Monica Powell, who's actually in, she posted, I think, in one of the more recent comments on Twitter. Let me see if I can find her page real quick. So Monica.dev on Twitter posted this article recently about how she created her profile level readme, uh, which looks really nice. So she's got a GIF on here just showing you the code. She's got a little graphic, which is pretty sweet too. And um, anyway, so I'm kind of looking at her article on dev.2. I'll link to this below so you can see it as well. And I think what the idea is here is you basically just create a repository and inside of that repository, you have a readme file. Now the repository has to be named the same name as your username. So if you have an existing project, uh, like I almost do, if you look at my repositories, I've got a couple of repositories that start with James Q Quick, that's my username, but they end in something else. So it's James Q Quick dot, or dash site or James Q Quick dash sanity or something like that. I need to turn off my notica notifications because somehow I forgot to do that today. So um, if you have something that's already your name, you might wanna rename that repository so you open up the ability to create a new repository with your name. So I think that is, that's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and create a new repository on GitHub. I'm not gonna choose a template. I'm going to name this James Q Quick. Now, obviously um, you will name this your profile name, whatever your username is on GitHub. And uh, cool. GitHub is saying like you found a secret. Uh, this is a special repository that you can use uh, for your public profile. Cool. So I didn't know that like GitHub would warn and not warn you like let you know this is something cool that you figured out how to do. So a description. I mean, we don't really have to have this, but this is the personal profile read me for well me. Uh, that's probably obvious to most people. Uh, I don't know if it makes any difference whether or not it's public or private. I kind of wonder on the GitHub side if that if that matters. Um, anyway, we can leave it for public because I, I assume public won't be a problem. And then uh, we can go ahead and say initialize this with a readme and create repository. Now to give you an idea of I meant to have rats. I meant to have my personal page already up, but I forgot. So I, I wonder if this has already changed, like what's there. Yeah, actually, <laughs> so it has this high there. So basically without this, um, without this project, with that readme, uh, there would be nothing here, nothing listed here. And honestly, I don't really know what I want to put in here uh, the most, but I basically wanna update this readme to include whatever information I want to have. So I kind of wonder like, what did, we go back to Monica's. Let's go look at her repo. Oh, not new Git repository. Uh, this is hers and she's got again, like I think, so this must be a graphic that she made herself. So this whole, like her text up here, um, the subtext and then the graphic, that's really sweet. I like the way uh, she did that, that's really cool. Um, software engineer. So just like a basic description of her and then some links to find her around the web. And then I wanted to share another one from my friend, Brad Garapy. He's the one that recommended I do this video. So he's got uh, his banner that he created. So this is an image. And then he's got um, these things, some really cool icons. I guess these are probably, maybe these are just like built-in Mac icons. So we'll, maybe I'll see if I can add some of that. So anyway, um, Let's do, I'm gonna do a basic one. I don't know a whole lot about what I wanna put on here. I'll add more. By the way, if you look down in the blog post from Monica, you'll see some really cool readmes, including um, one from Jason Langsdorf. His new website is amazing. These, there's some super dope ones in here. Uh, definitely go and check out like some of these different ones. And she links to a, where was this? A markdown cheat sheet. I have a markdown cheat sheet. There's no way this is mine, right? Nope. Not mine, this one's better than mine. <laughs> All right, so let's go uh, back to my repository and uh, we'll just go ahead and edit this. And I don't need to like check this out or do anything with it. I can edit this right inside of, um, inside of GitHub, which is what I'm going to do. Cool, so here's, they add some like starting ideas. That's cool. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of, I guess all of these are comments. 
So uh, I think this is cool. So I'm currently working on, gosh, what am I currently working on? I have no idea what I'm currently working on. Um, I'm going to start working on, well, I guess this will be like Jamstack content. So doing a lot of Jamstack content recently. I guess we can get rid of these periods. Currently learning. Um, gosh, GraphQL, uh, Next, JS, Design, uh, Testing. These are things that I'm trying to, to learn more about. Uh, collaborate on creating content. Looking for help with, uh, I'm always looking for help with design. Uh, ask me about uh, JavaScript, full, how do you spell full stack development? Everybody spells it differently. Full stack development, maybe I'll cap capitalize the S there as well. How to reach me, I wanna do a whole other section on that. And then uh, pronouns is he, him. And then a fun fact, I can solve a Rubik's cube in under a minute maybe i'll do that live on a video one day let me know if you want to see that in the comments below uh so here are some good ideas hi there um so maybe maybe i'll start with hi i'm james if anybody watches um gosh what's it called um the little dicky the rapper his tv show if you if you haven't watched it you should watch it but it starts off with like the intro is like hi i'm dave so my wife and i always do like Hi, I'm James. Anyway, fun facts there. So, hi, I'm James. And I actually, like, oddly enough, I want uh, maybe a bigger thing here. So, I'm a developer, speaker, and teacher. And I can get rid of the here are some ideas. I'm actually, I'm going to I'm gonna rip off. Let's see. Let's see if Brad will care. Shout out to Brad Garropy at uh, github.com slash Brad I'm going to rip off his stuff here. And actually, I guess I need to grab the source code. So this is like, if you're looking to do this yourself, um, to like grab some stuff for, for inspiration, you can grab, like go to their repository, open up the readme itself, and then look at raw. And then now um, I can see all of his stuff. So like this is what uh, I'm going to copy over into mine. Shh, don't tell them I just stole it. Actually, you can tell them and give them a shout out while you're there. So I don't have a banner. I don't have an adobe.com, React, Gatsby. Um, I'm not necessarily, I wasn't necessarily thinking about um, linking to Jamstack on here, but I could. It looks like he's got like links to basically like everything that he references. That's really cool actually. And one of the things that I don't ever do that this is a cool trick in uh, Markdown as well is you can kind of use these aliases for your links. I, I have totally forgotten that was possible. So this is so much cleaner to do his links like this. That's nice. So I'm going to do uh, jamesuquick.com. And can I, can you do a, oh gosh, you can do, you can do like a, so in GitHub, if I search syntax for, you can do regex searches. Can you do changes? I'm not sure. So um, I'm going to just copy James Hugh Quick uh, and then paste over these things because I think they're all the same. Same. I don't really like, I don't really do much on um, NPM. So I'll probably, well, I can leave it. I have one package, so I'll do that. So, website, Twitter, YouTube that you're on now, Twitch, Instagram, LinkedIn. By the way, if you haven't, if you're interested in like following me in different places, Twitter is where I talk about the most dev related stuff. Um, Twitch and YouTube is where I do like live streams and video content. Instagram is just like personal stuff. So if you want to come hang out and see what it's like a day in my life and what I do, come hang out on Instagram. LinkedIn is like kind of boring, just the professional side, which is why he has like the tie and shirt thing there. So that's kind of cool. Um, I'm going to take out this how to reach me section because I've got that below. Um, ask about JavaScript, full stack development, uh, jam stack and building cool shit. Um, or maybe I should, I guess that's not how this works. You actually have to take out a letter for that to work. Um, all right. So looking for, I'm not like actively looking for help with design. So I don't want like a bunch of people to just like reach out to me randomly. I, I love having help with design, but that's not what I'm actually look, looking for. Um, if you next, um, do, well, I don't know. I'll just leave that for now. That's fine. 
and looking to collaborate on and i'm not i'm not really looking for people to just like randomly message me so i'm going to take that one out too but i think that looks pretty cool like i will i will probably come back i'm working on getting a new logo i really want to have it um and once i do then maybe i'll throw that in there as well so i'm just going to uh commit these changes that's really all there is to it right so now i've got uh, I've got that set and now I think that looks kind of fun. Hi, I'm James. I'm a developer, speaker, teacher, currently working on, uh, currently learning and blah, blah, blah. And I wonder if these links work. So here's my website. Uh, there we go. That looks like it works. I'm just going to try, try one more link. Uh, let's do LinkedIn since we're trying a link. Uh, LinkedIn goes to my LinkedIn page. Cool. So uh, that's all it takes. I think this is uh, this is really just kind of a fun thing. Like this is not this is not a game changer by any means. This is not going to all of a sudden help you get, I don't think like callbacks on interviews or anything, but I think it is fun. I think it's, it's part of like this new, this new Microsoft, right? Microsoft that, that bought out GitHub has added some very cool features already, including like new layouts and design and stuff. And this is just kind of a nifty little trick that everybody in Twitter seemed to be talking about. So I figured I would go and uh, do a video and share with you how to do it and then learn myself and then show you some other things that you can look at for inspiration. So that's all we're here for. Um, as you create these, send me a link in the chat below. I wanna see what you come out with. I think you will probably come up with a lot more creative stuff than I did. So check out these other ones for inspiration. Create yours, send me a comment with yours and a link and I'll see you in the next video.